this museum began as a historic institution and it actually grew out of the creation of the Bennington Battle Monument in the late 19th century. And then we began collecting history, which of course involves collecting art as well, portraits and furniture and so on. Um, so it's become in many ways very much a museum of art and history and culture altogether. The original wing of the museum, which is now the north wing of this building, um, was originally built as the Catholic Church here in Bennington in 1855. The Historical Association approached the Catholic Church, um, bought it from them, and converted it into a museum, which opened to the public in 1927. Our mission and goal is to preserve, collect, and interpret the history of southern Vermont, but really Vermont at large, and the surrounding region. Our signature collection here is the great, great collection of Grandma Moses paintings. We have the largest collection of Grandma Moses paintings in a public institution in the world, almost 50 works by her. We have it's such an incredibly diverse collection. Oftentimes, people will come to the museum um, and they'll maybe know about Grandma Moses, they might know about the Bennington Pottery, but we have so many wonderful objects and works of art um, for people to look at. And I think one of the favorites which people often aren't aware of before they arrive here, um, but they certainly remember after they leave is the Carl Martin Wasp. Carl Martin was a native of Bennington. He started a company manufacturing luxury automobiles in um, 1920. They were incredibly luxurious automobiles. It's a beautiful, fantastic, incredible object, I think. Um, the color scheme, um, the stainless steel hood, it speaks, I, I think, beautifully with the other objects in this gallery. There's a, a small gallery devoted to late 18th and early 19th century American paintings and decorative arts, including an incredibly important pair of portraits of Elijah Dewey, who was the son of the first minister in town. And those portraits were painted by an early American itinerant painter named Ralph Earle. In 1798, he came to Bennington, painted the portraits of Dewey, but he also painted what is probably considered one of the earliest American la pure landscapes. His painting of Bennington, in, executed in 1798, is really one of the iconic objects that are in our collection here. We have another gallery at the museum, the Bennington Pottery Gallery, devoted to the ceramics that were produced here in Bennington throughout the 19th century, both stoneware with its beautiful cobalt decorations, um, very folky in nature, as well as products produced by the United States Pottery Company um, in operation for about 10 years from the late 1840s to the late 1850s. And they created this monument to tout their, um, their business at the 1853 New York Exposition, which was the first major international exposition in the United States. The part of the whole story of Vermont art up to the present that we were missing was Vermont modernism, or I should say specifically Bennington modernism. There was this amazing movement of modern painting going on right here. Really most of it was within three or four or five miles of this place in the 1960s and 70s. The major names in American abstract painting, people like Ken Nolan, Paul Feely, Pat Adams, Helen Frankenthaler, who was a graduate of Bennington College. Bennington College is the center of all of this, and Paul Feely was the head of the art department there, and he was this galvanic, interesting figure that just drew people around. In some ways, we're trying to expand our vision and what we cover by, by moving forward into modernism, but in another way, we're not changing our mission at all. We're still about um, the history of creativity in Vermont. So we have the, the Gallery of Bennington Modernism, and then the other part of the story that was missing um, from the broad story of Vermont art and creativity was um, the history of the late 19th century, often called the Victorian Age, um, what we've labeled in this gallery the Gilded Age, so it's the Gilded Age Vermont Gallery. We've stretched the Gilded Age a little bit, so it's from the Civil War to the Great Depression, and we've um, formed this gallery around the Wasp motor car. It's a gallery which shows two things. It's a kind of, I think, I think an edgy, interesting idea, putting together um, the mill culture, giving reverence to the people who worked in the mills, who ultimately created the wealth that was here, the things that were created in the mills here, um, but then also the results of that wealth. So the, um, there were lavish mansions here. There was a great deal of prosperity in Bennington. We're putting together fine art, high art painting with um, objects of industry and innovation. The car is one of those, but in the corner we have a governor which um, regulates the speed of a water wheel. And we have an, um, a model of a mowing machine. There was a factory, a mill here, that made mowing and reaping machines. So we're putting together objects of, of sort of ingenuity with fine art. 
One of the real buzzwords in this region is the creative economy. And Bennington is starting to see a lot of that sort of creative economy and using the arts to really draw people in and make our community a, a, a better experience and a better place to live for those who live here as well. We've invented a tagline recently, the new Bennington Museum, get into it. And we are very much the museum that has always been here, a museum about Vermont history and culture. But we're trying to tweak it in a new direction and bring it very much to the present so that it can tell the whole history of creativity in Vermont from the 18th century right up to now, which includes the late 20th century. My vision for this place is that it will be um, an institution where there's this continuous dialogue between um, delightful things, ingenious things from the past, and present creativity, so that people will come here to be inspired. A place for invention and creativity and inspiration.